to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. This was the requested look. I have so much stuff down here. Um, using the L'Oreal uh, nude palettes, which I recently did a full review with swatches. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked down below, so make sure to check it out. So I asked if you guys wanted me to recreate the look that I was wearing on that same video, and tons of you said yes. So I went ahead and redid the whole look for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. And I believe that is everything that I wanted to mention. Enjoy the video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! First, I am taking the NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone and applying that with a synthetic brush all over my lids. This is going to prevent creasing and it's also going to help the eyeshadows adhere to the skin better and therefore they will pop more. Then I'm going to take this color right here which is number 5 on the L'Oreal uh, nude palette and I'm applying that with a fluffy brush on the inner corner of my eyelid and I'm patting it and then sweeping it up as you can see it's very pigmented a little bit does go a long way and they are so buttery they're so easy to blend I absolutely love this color it's one of my favorites Next, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and that's number six on the palettes. And I will be applying that above my pupils, so meeting those two colors together so we can get that really nice gradient effect. I like to pat this onto my lid first and then start blending it a little bit just so I can get the most pigmentation. Next, I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is number 8 on the palette. It's a really nice, like a soft nude color, and I will be applying that to the outer lid. And again, I like to pat it in first and then blend it out. This is just a normal synthetic uh, fl fluffy brush that I got off of eBay, and I'm going to bring that in pretty far in because it's a really soft brown nude color, so it's going to also work as a transitional color. After I've done that, I'm going to go in with Brulee by Wet n Wild and I will be applying this as a highlight to um, my brow bone. I love this color because it's not white. It's a really nice like vanilla color and it's absolutely matte. So this is a definitely a really good color to apply to the brow bone if you have been looking for something and it's super inexpensive. Then I go in with my E40 um, Sigma brush and I start blending everything out. Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and this is in the color Granite, I believe. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> sorry. But I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. Then I'm going to just fill in my eyebrows with that pencil starting from the bottom and then just flicking it up so I can stand up those little hairs. Um, so yeah, and then I just take the spoolie side and start combing through my hairs. After that, I'm going to take this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and I will be applying it directly onto the brows. It is a little bit too wet, but I feel like it keeps my eyebrows in place, so I really do enjoy this product. I'm going to go in with a gel eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Eyeliner and I will be doing my regular wing, so I don't know how to explain it, so I will just let you guys watch this.
Now I'm gonna go in and curl my eyelashes to prepare them for falsies and for mascara first of all. I like to go in with this specific mascara because it keeps my eyelashes curled and yeah <clears throat> after i've done that i'm gonna go in with these pair of lashes these are by the brand lotus lashes and i will leave the number of lashes that they are down below as well as a link to um, their website if you guys are interested these are um, mink lashes and they're absolutely gorgeous they they're really lightweight and I love the band because it's thick and it stays on my lashes and it helps with blending the fake ones with the real ones. So after I've done that, I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I will be applying that to like the crease area with a thinner brush. Just really carving it out. Kind of like if you're doing a cut crease look. But without all the cleanup and everything that you have to do, this is just going to really smoke it out a little bit more and give it a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to go back with a clean brush, no additional product, and I will start blending out those colors so there are no harsh lines. Then once again, I'm going to go in with my next eyeshadow base, and I'm going to be taking a little concealer brush. And I will be applying that to the bottom lashes because I am going to be applying some color down here just to even out um, the top, the top um, <clears throat> what do you call it? the top of our eye <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with this color once more that's the number six on the palette and I will be taking that with a pencil brush and just dragging it down and blending it as I go and reapplying it because it is pretty light so then I'm gonna take a concealer brush and I will be cleaning up the wing liner but instead of blending it out I'm just leaving it as is creating like a second little wing just like you can see here and this is going to create a really cool effect I kind of liked how it looked I don't know if you guys like it you can totally skip the part and then I'm going to take that brown shadow and bring it underneath that wing creating a third wing but this one's going to be a little bit more dramatic and extend it out Now I'm going to move on to face. I'm using the Professional by uh, the Benefits. And then I'm going to be taking two concealers. Well, they're foundations. I'm going to be taking a really dark one and a light one. These are the Fit Me Shine Free Foundations. And the light one is in the color 240. And the darkest one is in the color 355 Coconut. And so this is going to act as a contour and highlights. I don't do this very often. But this is exactly what I did the day that I wore this look so I wanted to recreate it you know exactly how I did it so I will just be taking that at the highest points where you would usually highlight and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and start blending everything out I first like to start with the darkest colors and blending it down to the neck. I know that this looks a little bit more on the orangey side and I think it's because of the color of the actual foundation but at the end it all works out. After I'm done with everything, I'm going to move on to concealer. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer. And this is in the color Light Pale, I believe. And I know it's really, really light. Like, it's almost white. Um, but I kind of like it. Um, I like the consistency of the concealer. I think just the color is not the perfect color for my skin tone. But again, everything kind of looks good at the end, in my personal opinion. Um, so I'm taking that to the, the um, middle of my forehead and my chin, and then as always, blending it out with my beauty blender. Thank you. 
Then we're gonna move on to contour. I'm gonna take this color right here, which is the color Fawn by the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I will be um, chiseling out the hollows of my cheekbones because I love to contour. I have more of a round face, so I feel like this step is necessary for me. And then I do take those two other colors from that palette, um, mixing them together, and I will be using that as a bronzer and pretty much applying it all over my face. Now after we've done that, we're going to set our concealer. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, which is a really nice powder. I feel like it sets my concealer really well and it doesn't budge or crease on me. I really, really do like this concealer. Um, after I've done that, I'm going to go in with blush. This is one of the dollar blushes from e.l.f. And I will leave the name linked down below because I don't have it in front of me at the moment. <clears throat> But I'm going to pretty much apply that on top of the bronzer and the highlight just to bring a little bit more color to the face. I am going to move on to highlights. This is the Physician, Physician's Formula Nude Brick um, Little Palettes and I will be applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones. This is just going to make it appear or make it seem like I have really high cheekbones. And then I also like to apply that to my cupid's bow and a little bit to my chin. Next, we're going to move on to lips. This is a lip liner. This is a Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy lip liner. It's one of my favorite lip liners of all time. It's a really nice like brownish nude and I will be applying that all over my lips. Then after that, I'm going to move in with lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild lipstick by the collection of Fergie called Fergie Daily. Really, really pretty. I will leave it linked down below. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Just make sure to use a setting spray and you are done. So this is the final result. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. And I believe that is everything that I wanted to say. So thanks again so much for your request. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.